Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Mac here, and there have been some major changes happening with Xbox Live Gamer Tags recently, and I'm here to show you some of those changes in action and talk a little bit about what you can expect in the future. Now I will show you all of this new Gamer Tag stuff in action, but before we get started, I did want to kind of just break down the basics. Basically, on June 10th, Microsoft unveiled a couple of new Gamer Tag features and a lot of people are talking about them. I briefly kind of tweeted my thoughts just after E3, but as more information has been coming in, I've been seeing a little bit more of these gamer takes in action, and I figured a video would help kind of ease a lot of the pain and confusion for a lot of people. So first off, Xbox decided to add 10 new alphabets, which support over 200 languages. The list of alphabets can be seen on screen, but you should start seeing gamer tags using, for example, accented letters or symbols used in languages in China, Japan, and Korea, for example. On screen, I'm going to show you an example of a gamer tag that you can technically have using these new alphabets. Additionally, gamer tags now have a maximum set length of 12 characters as opposed to the 15, which was the old standard. If you have a gamer tag longer than 12 characters though, don't worry, this change will not affect you, but if you are making a new account, you will want to keep this change in mind. Last but not least, the other feature they added is probably the most controversial and currently only available in Game Bar on PC. But basically, the new feature will allow users to use any gamer tag they want, even if that gamer tag is already in use. Now, if you like your current gamer tag, don't worry, as this will not affect you in any way and there should be no changes in your experience. However, if the gamer tag you want is already taken, Xbox will automatically assign an ID suffix of numbers to it following a number sign or what many people would call a hashtag in order to keep everybody unique. And that's what you'll see on screen is I'm trying to get the gamer tag Maca, which is obviously already taken, so they're gonna assign me a suffix. This system will be very familiar to those of you who have used Discord in the past or maybe have an account with Battle.net. The way in which these new gamer tags are going to be displayed will allow most players to kind of focus on the main part of the gamer tag while the suffix is kind of just an extra part of it. And currently games are required to show the suffix while you play in any game experiences, so hopefully you won't have to worry about anyone impersonating you for the time being. Additionally, the suffix will be shown during out of game experiences in order to, and I quote, have a unique, visible identity while still representing yourself the way you want. So you will be able to kind of see that the main name will kind of be bolded, maybe it's in a different font or a different size, and then the suffix may take a little bit of a back seat in many instances. Now on screen, I basically showed you guys that I made a new gamer tag and I went to customize that gamer tag. And if you do it in the original kind of old Xbox menu, you will not be able to currently use this feature as the new gamer tags are right now limited to game bar and then they will be coming to mobile and to the Xbox later on this year. So you have to actually kind of use a special website if you want one of the new gamer tags with the suffix in it. I will leave a link in the description down below. But you can see here I have a gamer tag and obviously it was just randomly assigned to me. I want to change it. Your first change is free for every new account. And I'm going to change it to the name Maca, which is already taken. I was automatically given an ID or a suffix at the end of it. And then I can go into game bar on my PC and I can actually find my new profile using that suffix. So this kind of gives you guys a little bit of an example of how it might work when you and your friends all can have kind of the same gamer tag with different suffixes and how it might look in the future when it does finally make its way to the console. I am very interested to hear what you guys have to say about these changes. I'll kind of keep my opinions short and sweet. I really like the support of the new alphabets and the new languages and obviously keeping your old gamer tag is a no brainer. And I also think it's cool that Xbox is trying to make like the account creation process faster and easier for new people. But generally speaking, I'm not a very big fan of the suffix idea and allowing people to kind of have the same identifying gamer tag as each other, I think invites a lot of opportunity for confusion for the average user. Again, those are just my opinion and I'd love to hear from you guys more down below. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully the video was informational. You can share it around with your friends. Drop a like and I'll see you soon. Special thanks to all the amazing people on Patreon for supporting the show and shout out to Double O. See you soon, guys. Peace.